Welcome Wolfpack to another Scum University tutorial. This video is a deep dive into one of the brand new skills in the version 0.3 update, the Demolition Skill. The initial settings are found in the character creation screen and you can track your progress in game on the metabolism screen under the dexterity attributes. In this video, I'll explain why it's important, where I set mine, unlocks at each level, and how to rank this skill up. Stick around and we'll discuss how to be a master bomb technician in the game of Scum. Wow, you're still alive. This video supplements the Scum University How to Build the Best Character update. I will leave that link in the description below. Make sure you check that video out. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. And if you find value in this Scum tutorial, please hit that like button. I will make every attempt to keep this video quick and to the point, so let's jump right in. Please understand that some of this video is basic information designed for new players that may or may not understand the crafting mechanic or what some of the intended uses for these devices are. If you are a veteran player, please feel free to leave a comment with any information that I may have left out or if you have anything to add to this video. We will start off by covering basic information about the demolition skill, followed by the skill tiers and the items that unlock at each tier, and then we will wrap it up with some helpful tips about the fun items that we've discussed in this video. The only way to increase your demolition skill is by crafting the items that we will discuss over the next few minutes. You will also gain experience points by arming and disarming explosives. As with most of the skill sets in Scum, as your skill level increases, you receive less points for each task in that skill set. For example, you will not get the same amount of experience for crafting a blasting cap in the advanced level as you would if you crafted in the no skill tier. It is also worth noting that the quality of the explosive also increases, which renders more damage to an enemy as your demolition skill increases. Disarming explosives successfully is also tied to your demolition skill. Be warned that attempting to disarm an explosive with little or no demolition skill could suddenly result in your prisoner being transformed into a fine pink mist and getting reacquainted with your orange prison outfit. Note that the ability to detect the trap is solely tied to your awareness skill. The higher your awareness skill, the more warning you will receive of the presence of an enemy trap. I'll be doing a video just like this one on the awareness skill in the very near future. That video will be linked in the description below. Animals and puppets will detonate traps. In the past, there have been several reports of disappearing traps on server reset or upon logging off. I was unable to recreate those scenarios on our Wolfpack server. I'm not saying that those players are wrong, I just could not recreate the bug. I have posted a video explaining this on December 28th, 2019, and I will link that video in the description below. Currently, there are two types of explosives in Scum. The in-game explosives, which you see here. We have Claymore Mines, which are highlighted right there. The Prom Mines over here on the left. And then we have two types of landmines down here. The devices shown here are the only devices that do not require a detonator. We have the prom trap, the anti-personnel mine, and the smaller anti-personnel mine. If you find these in the game, you can just walk up to them and press and hold F and arm the trap. The two improvised traps that do not need detonators are the cartridge trap and the improvised mine. Once crafted, you can do the same thing. Press and hold the F button and arm the trap. The only items available to craft in the no skill tier are the improvised mine and the blasting cap. Although we can craft and increase our skill points by crafting the blasting cap, we have no use for the blasting cap yet because we cannot craft the two detonators. In the basic skill tier, we've unlocked the ability to craft both style of detonators currently in the game. We have the motion sensor detonator and the laser detonator. Although most of the crafting items for demolition devices are common, there are also a few that are not so common. The CD player, parking sensor, the batteries, and the electrical repair kit are all tools needed to craft the laser detonator and the motion sensor detonator. You will also note here that your blasting cap comes into play here, and this is the only use for the blasting cap, is these two detonators. The devices that we unlock in the basic tier are pipe bombs and the cartridge trap. A quick tip about the cartridge trap, I was unaware of this until I reported it as a bug to the developers, but apparently the cartridge trap, although needing a 50 caliber BMG round to craft, is only a noise making device that will knock you down, but will inflict little to no damage. I would think a 50 caliber round shooting through my foot would probably hurt a little bit, but not the case so far. In the medium skill tier, we unlock the ability to craft the pressure cooker bomb on the right and the improvised claymores on the left. Understand that when placing the improvised claymore that the curve points towards the enemy. The frag grenade is detonated and the shrapnel is aimed forward by the curve of the device, injuring or killing anything in front of the explosion. Pressure cooker devices have a much larger explosion and will kill players in the area, 
but currently damage to wall components does not seem to be increased at this time. You will notice that the advanced skill table is empty. There are currently no available unlocks for improvised devices as we move into the advanced skill tier. As I understand it, the quality of the trap that you are crafting does continue to increase and it will inflict more damage on a player, but we have no new devices at this tier. We will wrap up with a few tips for explosive traps. If you are alerted to an explosive device in your area, stop moving immediately. Depending on your awareness skill, you could be right on top of the device. If you deem that you have a high enough demolition skill to attempt to disarm the device, look for signs of the device on the ground or disturbed dirt indicating that it is buried. If you need to get closer to the device, be sure to crouch walk or crawl to the device to approach it. Moving at a jogging pace or a run will definitely detonate the device. If you disarm the device and you're feeling especially witty, you can rearm the device and render it yours and it will detonate if the original owner comes back to check on it or retrieve it if they are not careful. If you're having trouble crafting the improvised mine and you have all of the components needed, make sure that your bottle has liquid in it. The game does not recognize the bottle as a craftable item unless it has liquid. The same is true when attempting to craft bottle suppressors. Most of the devices can be buried using any of the shovels in the game, whether improvised or found organically. Simply press and hold F on the device with the shovel in your hand and bury the trap. After an animation, the disturbed dirt will show in the area. Also note that the trap will automatically arm when buried. I have not done any tests yet, but feel free to comment down below if you have or if you know. I heard that the buried trap inflicts less damage on a player. Here are a few tactics that I intend to employ while using explosives. I do plan on using them on blind corners. You could also use them at building entrances. Another option is right outside of a doorway. You might find me placing them at the bottom of the stairs and burying them. Or you may even find them hidden well in a bush. Or you may just want to get silly with them. One of the other things that I do is I try to get very close to the claymores to make sure they're set correctly. If you're placing the trap, you want to see the word back on the mine with the front facing towards the blast area. The claymore mine is rather realistic as its blast radius is directed forward in that arc. It's very easy to place these the wrong way. If you have the materials to craft the devices but not the detonators, you may have to detonate the explosives by shooting them with a rifle. Flashbangs will not work. But hand grenades will. As long as the devices are close together, you can daisy chain as many explosive devices as you need with one triggering device. And one final thing, according to the Scum Hotfix update of Monday, January 20th, 2020, the previous bug of squadmates triggering traps has been fixed. I do have a couple upcoming videos on explosives and how it affects wall components for base building. In a few seconds, that video will be popping up onto your screen. If you got something out of today's video, please smash that like button. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and set your notifications to all. Don't forget to check out the entire Scum University Point 3 update playlist. That link will be in the description below. That video for explosives and how it affects wall components will be popping up onto your screen right now. Click that video and we will see you over there.